On this week's episode of Teachers Off Duty Podcast, we're gonna be talking about how you know it's the end of the school year without even looking at the calendar. We're gonna be talking about buying your own school supplies and maybe talk about eating paint chips. So stay tuned. Welcome to this week's episode of Teachers Off Duty Podcast. Today we're gonna to be talking about how you know it's the end of the school year without even looking at the calendar. Because the end of the school year is chaos. Kindness. I don't even know why you're saying the end of the school year. Yeah, like from school January. Year is no, from <laughs> January to the end of the school year is chaos. Oh my god. So in your guys' classrooms, how do you know it's the end of the school year? Zombie children. Oh, zombie children Bear. roll biting each other. And I'm no. feral, and so are they. Okay, yours <laughs> might be feral. <laughs> mine are <laughs> mine are literally just dead. Like they're just laying there on their desk, like no signs of life at all. <laughs> they're please don't like make us do this. Yeah, yeah. my blood pressure be high. Like, as come soon on, guys, we have a test in two weeks. Don't care. Do State we, test. Yeah. Do we have to <laughs> what are we doing today? And no, and no matter what you say, they their response is, Ugh. Ugh. Yeah. oh my gosh. It's like, I'm sorry. I'm going to start responding to them the same way that they do. doing this either? <laughs> you think I, I don't do want to be here. I also don't want to be doing what we're doing. Oh man, I, I can always tell in my classroom when it's the end of the school year, like my filter is completely gone. Like it is, <laughs> yep. like, Same if, like, you know, like I think about kids play games on the Chromebook, you know, at the beginning of the year, you know, I'll go over and sit next to him like, hey, can you please not play games right now? You know, right. kind of whisper him. Yeah. And now I'll see him like, Brett, <laughs> dude, I'm gonna punt yep. that Chromebook off of the roof, <laughs> dude. <laughs> That's exactly I will, it. And tell your mom I said that, please. Hey, I yeah. couldn't like, catch myself before I said, close your laptop off and throw it out the window because you don't need it for this assignment. Yeah. I'm like, dang, I just told that kid I was going to throw his Chromebook out yeah. the window. And then all of a sudden you realize you're beefing with a 13 year old. Beefing, <laughs> yeah. Hardcore. Like meat? Oh, yeah. Meat market Do you want beefing. the smoke? Oh, no, my God. You have so Beef much more market. of a short fuse at the end oh, of the school year. Oh, zero oh, patience. Beginning my of the year, I'm like, all right, guys. Talking's getting to be a little bit too much. I can't go on with the lesson if I can. And then April, I'm like, what? Shut up! <laughs> shut up! <laughs> you shut up! People be like, you shouldn't tell kids to shut up. You shut the hell up too, then. <laughs> <laughs> You, yeah, you go from Miss Honey to Miss Trunchbull real fast. <laughs> yeah. like, Yo, like, it's, it's like terrifying how bad it happens. I go from like, what do you think would happen if to being like, why would you do that? <laughs> <laughs> Clip. And what do you think would happen to these children? Oh my gosh. <laughs> you know what? I really best. thought I would be offended at the thought of being Miss Trunchbull, but I'm like, nah, I'm okay fam. I am, I am her. Why? She's yeah. strong. She has slicked back hair so it doesn't get in her face, okay? <laughs> Makes People are scared cake. of her. She, she ran that yeah. school. She ran right. that school. You saw those kids' attention when yeah, they were they at the assembly when she was her. bringing out the cake, trying to Air. accuse somebody of eating it. She, yeah. They were on lock. Scared. Now, the chokey was a, a little bit. That was a little far. Yeah. 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 into abuse. You know, not everyone's Force perfect. feeding a child <laughs> a massive chocolate cake. Yes. A bit much. Yeah. Kind of like kid by the pigtails and swinging her yeah. over the fence might like, be. Did she ever downfall? Teacher shortage. Yeah. She never got fired. Wait, 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 wait. But they were teachers back then too. Did they die? Did they die, they were, though? But did they no, die? No, Amanda made it over. She made it over the thing. She Barely. grabbed some flowers while she was on her way, and then Miss Miss Honey unbraided her pigtails. How do you think kids get grit? <laughs> how do you think it happens? Right. How By getting you... tossed over a fence. Yeah, right. that's how <laughs> kids get grit. No, right, okay. Brie? Obviously. How, obviously, no. Obviously, <laughs> we're Our kidding. Our teacher does not agree right. with anything. Legally, big. we're obligated yeah, to obviously say Yeah, obviously, we're, we're kidding. Right. But there are some serious factors that take we take into play when yeah. uh, the end start, of the school year comes around. I crying for my lunch instead of eating uh -huh. it. I go into my car or I'll go on a walk and I'll just like, I'll sob. I'll just cry. Like, I, why am I so overwhelmed by this right now? Because it's when I always tell myself, you know what, it's fine. Because at the end of the day, you get to go home and the kids don't come with you. You don't have kids at home. <laughs> you get to, at the end of the day, you get to give them back. So they're, even they're if it's the you. worst day ever, seven hours from now, six hours, four hours, three hours, that's what I do. And at the end of the year, I can't. I can't negotiate that with myself. I'm like, it's going to be like this forever. Right. I'm going to get stuck at the school. It, it's like at the end of the school year, like the day ends and the happiness of the day ending is gone because yes. you're like, oh, in six 
to eight hours. Gonna I'm going to be back it. here. Right. Yep. We're going we're to run this yeah. back. The weekends are not See, long enough. I know mm-hmm. because like at the beginning of the school year, I still have all my energy and I'm still like excited. So I stay after school like an extra couple minutes or whatever, oh, yeah. prepping something yeah. for the next mm-hmm. week or like getting all my stuff in order. And then like now I roll in on Monday going, did I post that to classroom for this week? <laughs> <Right. laughs> I forget. Don't Let me know check what on I'm that. teaching. I don't know who I am, where <laughs> right. I am. What I am or what I'm Where's teaching. Sometimes room? Bill Nye is going to teach my class. <laughs> okay. Sometimes yeah. he's going to, I'm going to roll in the cart. Also, I don't know about you guys, but like, it's always so extremely difficult to wake up in the morning towards uh, the end of the school year. Like at the beginning, so I'm getting up at 6 a.m. I'm like, mm. I was able to sit down and like make myself breakfast and like be out the door Never by like 7.50. Never, neither have I. So I, I could, lunch. so I could like be in my classroom by like, 8 15 before like 15 minutes before the kids got there now you'll see my butt rolling in with the kids like i'm getting oh, off the yeah. bus with them like miss willie aren't you supposed to be here before us my job they know <laughs> they know i'm chronically late like i'm there on time but like with them this year <laughs> this year we've had so many snow days where i live that we are gonna go like teachers are gonna go to school after Labor Day. And that's the first time I've ever done it. And I'm Ew. dreading it. Like, yeah. how do you guys gonna be teaching wild. kids in June? So, man. guys, this is but. what you need to do. The week after Memorial Day weekend, send Gabe in his Instagram DMs just pictures of you enjoying your summer break. Yeah. Please don't. Yeah. Send that's appropriate pictures, yeah. please. Yeah. Just that. I, I want you to make I a call. I to torture Gabe. Redact that email please right don't. now. <laughs> I, want a sli- I want him to make a oh. slideshow of it. Just like, yes. keep smiling. Keep trying. Oh. <laughs> just keep swimming. How just I know that it's swimming. the end of the year without even looking at the calendar is the pure dissociation that I do. Yeah. W- once seventh period leaves and it's the end of the day and I just... You just veg out for like an hour. Lights you on, no one's home. Lights like, on, oh, nobody home. I had a coworker at uh, the high school I used to work at that said, like, when I get home, I need to sit. She just needed to sit. She just needed, she needed to go into her living room and turn the lights off of and just sit and do nothing and yeah. just uh-huh. stare into space and let her eyes uncross and just and the peace and quiet i know it's, i know it's the end of the school year away. because my four-year-old i lay on the couch and i like look around every so I, are you still in the house okay <laughs> i mean like i'm so tired like i can't there's yeah. no way i've fallen asleep before i realized right. i was asleep oh I'm yeah so dog and you've also tired. got you've, like every class has the one kid that they walk in the door and every time are we going outside are we going outside today? Are we uh, going outside? Like uh-huh. in the eighth grade, we're not going outside. Why do we do that? <laughs> yeah. My kids do because I in do. We, we can't we Keep can't go outside if it's a certain temp or like if it's too yeah. hard or too cold the kids can't go out. Because I'm not gonna lie to you, as a parent, I get a little testy if <laughs> no. I, I'm not gonna and, lie to you. And I know it's the end of the year. This is how I know it's the end of the year because when the UV index hits a certain point, we have to start putting suntan lotion on 20 children my baby will burn i okay. don't know my if you've ever burn. tried to put sunscreen on 20 children yeah, but you get true. all of them done you do the spray and they're all no nope. you they're can do spray but you have to, you, we use it's hard gloves. to wrangle them so you have to use <laughs> you, you do the gloves this is gonna Why be the most wasteful thing people are gonna get so upset but this is you have to do this because this is you know health you put rubber gloves on do one kid throw those gloves away put the next set of gloves oh my on gosh. do the next kid for 20 kids you have to. twice a day and feed some turtles because because yeah <laughs> Pizza. <laughs> the turtles, kid. <laughs> you can recycle the gloves. <laughs> the kind turtles. Of. And I'm pretty sure that was strong. No, those are not going to be bad. This right now? It was bad. <laughs> it was bad for the turtles. <laughs> Mr. <laughs> Williams single-handedly killed the turtles with sunscreen. Oh my god! But I didn't know that. I didn't no, know that sunscreen didn't it's work. The preschool is killing the turtles. Yeah, no, it is. Like the kids, the kids, because we go, up, <laughs> we went up until the private school I was at. They did year-round baby. Mm. So I was like, uh-uh. I would always take. I'm like summer off for me. But we would you'd put it on and like you'd have to start the press like 30 minutes before. Mm-hmm. And then if anything were to happen or the temperature went up in that time or started to rain, then you put sunscreen on 20 kids. Didn't have to do it. But I didn't know sunscreen ran out, y'all, in like two hours. Oh, oh yeah. It's a ticking time bomb. So I learned the I, hard way at Disney. I, sh- I learned, learned the hard way with my pay. students. Yeah. I've been, I'm very familiar with mm-hmm. sunscreen, being Are a you? redheaded individual, <laughs> being a very, I'm neon white and I live in Florida, baby. It's <laughs> It does, it's every two ah, hours you have to put it on. Before the ABCs, I learned S-U-N-C-R-C, I can't spell sunscreen. Damn, you teach your tired already. Like I is the human Elmer's glue. That's the, any one of my kids asked me that, like in, 
March in Florida? Can we go no. outside? You're about to if you keep asking that. <laughs> goodbye. You yeah. that by yourself. <laughs> Absolutely no way that would happen. When the AC goes out in a Florida uh-uh. classroom. See, oh, our, like, our kids, in. it's not warm yet in Ohio. Like in oh, March. No. We're filming this currently in March. It's 50 degrees. It's if great. that... It's not lucky. warm. Yeah, it's not it's warm. So and then because it still wants to snow, it's raining a lot of the time. Yep. Mm. So we don't get to go outside a whole bunch. But when they do, I'm like, take your jackets. And yep. then they're like, it's I, not I'm even cold. You, and they I have kids like throwing jackets everywhere. I'm after and my baby. It's cold after and my baby ain't got no jacket on. It was Wednesday. And in the morning, it was 45 degrees. End of the day, 430, 90. Oh, yeah, that's, that's how it that's, is. That's Indiana That's how it is in Mississippi. Fall, yeah. yeah. Nope. You walk out, it's 30 degrees, you come in, it's 80, and I wore a turtleneck. Man, like, sweating to the gods, yeah. do you hear me? I'm like, I want to look cute today. I'm going to wear this little jacket. And I go in in a sweater in April, because it's April showers, baby. And Bring you leave, April. and you're like, right. uh-uh. That was not the, the choice. The shower is no. me sweating through yes. this jacket. Uh-huh. No, the end of the school year for me is chaos, because that's like, because all year long, we're worried about this freaking test. And mm-hmm. then we take all of our tests from like, beginning of April or mid-April until like beginning of May. Mm -hmm. So it's like crunch time all the way through there. And then as soon as that's done, it's like, all right, now it's time for fun. And then we do like all these fun projects at the end of the year. So like, it's very fun, but it's stressful because it's I'm trying to organize all this stuff. Right, and then right. I think to myself, I'm like, Lauren, you idiot. Why did you do that <laughs> right. to yourself? Be this nice is to t- yourself. This is too fun because I had it's to do a lot of work. It's too much fun for them. <laughs> right. <laughs> it's I a know, lot of work for me. I know it's the end of the school year when I see my class descending into chaos and I just kind of look at them. I just, because like normally I'm like, hey, stop. Put yeah. that down. Sit down. Put Don't the touch scissors down. down. At the end of the school year, I just. You're like, I got three more days with you people. Yep. I'm just like staring at one of the kids like, Miss Richardson, you ain't going to say nothing. Huh? I forgot y'all was in here. That's right. So, uh, I tuned y'all out. I'm so, like when you're sitting at the desk and one of the students notices that you're just sitting there like. Uh, Look and beat. And then, and then Look they and beat say down. to the rest of the class, guys, you, quiet down, please. They yeah. advocate for you. They're like, yeah. You're just sitting there like, it's only 45 more days. Yeah. Yeah, that's all it is. That's I'm another mis- way that I know that the year is ending is when you are in the, the mail room and you're in administration and as you're passing teachers it's just like 44 more days uh, <laughs> everywhere <laughs> everywhere, everywhere. down oh, to the hour i got the chain link little paper thing in my uh, class immediately. Room every day i make it part of the thing okay who wants to rip it off let's count how many rings are off because i'm like i have to know this for I my need to know. <laughs> like this is for me not yeah, for I, don't don't I don't have that but i have like the little cube countdown oh, yeah, thing yeah, yeah. so we do that but like i know it's just i'm like you i'll sit there and i just won't Dissociate. even i'm not even gonna be like i'm not even gonna Hey guys, I I need to talk. No, I'll just I'll just. It's not even a long way. It's just like no. I just I go quiet. Wait. Radio yeah. silence, and then <laughs> someone eventually will realize that I'm waiting on them, and then they'll be like, "Guys, she's trying to talk." I always love that story. <laughs> I wasn't trying to talk. Well, it's I just, the, the kid recognizes <laughs> that they're going to watch a grown adult just lose it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Where this breakdown. train is going, it is not going to end very well. I know yeah. when it's the end of the school year, when I, because I'm like seriously a rule follower. I'm always like paranoid. I'm going to get a pop-up observation. Or whatever. I know it's the end of the school year when I'm willing to risk it all and say, I don't care if y'all do come in first period for uh, observation. You're going to see what you're going to see. You're going to get what you're going to get. Go ahead, do your I little write-up. Right. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I am so scared of pop-up observations. Me too. Like, I'm not gonna lie. I, oh my gosh, I, I don't try care to anymore. Have everything like neat and tidy, and I do what I'm supposed to do. So like, if you, you come do. in my room, whatever. But yeah. like, I feel like on our I, worst I used days. to care a lot, and right. now I'm like, you know what? You get what you get. I'm doing my job. Like, yeah. it is what on it our, is. On our absolute worst days as teachers, yeah. all of us collectively, we are better than. 90% of the teachers in our district because of the hearts that we have for <laughs> oh, the job. I, think, I mean, I, I... You have a lot of faith I, in me. Better than... I do. Better yes, than I 90%. Do. I, there was a teacher the other day that was like, I haven't yelled at them. This is the first time I've yelled all year. What? <laughs> I yelled six <laughs> times today. So I, I appreciate the faith in me. My relationship with the students and with, with my colleagues in the classroom and with my students' parents are like, I feel very confident about that. Mm-hmm. Now, if it was like a state observation on the curriculum or like we have to have very specific like, books out in the classroom mm-hmm. or we have to have certain toys out in these areas or we have to have certain amount of artwork on the wall that's oh, that, wow. that stuff is more of that but when See, it's me I feel me like for your that, preschool program though that's a bigger deal that's like, a, that's a that's, way bigger what, deal what is, it, what is it called? I was at, I was at, I was at Head Start Head, yeah. Head Start is like wow. very meticulous because it's you get government funding for yeah, it, right? Yeah, and they want to know and, that their money's getting yeah, spent Yeah, and the way I will spent. say, as a, I, I, don't, I know this isn't the case for every Head Start consortium out there. Mine paid really well. Oh, it paid good. 
way better than when I went to a private school. Yeah. Huh. And so I think because of that, we were, it was a very competitive grant because it was a, I mean, yeah. it was a huge, I mean, we had a thousand kids. So you didn't want to be the one messing up. So I didn't want to be the one <laughs> yeah. to not pass their ELCO because I had character books of like Dora and all that stuff and not real life books on, you know. Yeah. And so that was always a thing. But I knew at Head Start was the end of the year because we had to do graduation. Oh. In preschool, I know my daughter gets a graduate in preschool. And and that's, that's cute. You I better have, get pictures. Is it cool? Is that, is that like I've never taught school that yeah. that Aww, young? Babe, yeah. You didn't graduate preschool. I never he graduated preschool. <laughs> <He didn't. laughs> I never. I never I, did. I know you can I never do it. Done, it's done not it. for everyone. He's a do good they do GEDs for preschool? Yeah, GEP. <laughs> 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 but it like from a teacher perspective, is it fun doing the graduation? It's fun f with the kids, right? And it's fun to be able to like have the kids do like they always like do like a couple songs or whatever. It's fun when the parents are enjoying it. Mm -hmm. But I mean, if you've ever seen a parent go to a play or or what or a, a game that their child's in, they get very like I we always tell the parents like if your child goes up there, they we have we always did in my classroom, which I don't know why I thought that was a good idea to shove. 60 some adults in a classroom with you know 17 kids oh, and think gosh. that we're not going to fry because it's so hot yeah. uh -huh. but the parents are i would tell them like that's all this is a lot of pressure on your three to five year old to stand up there and and sing and do this in front of 60 people so yeah. if they don't sing or they get nervous don't yell at them, them and, alone, and they will always yeah. like, you smile you do you, why you don't sit down and then i'm like oh but gosh, that's what we just talked four. about this because they're yeah they're three years old they're four years they're yeah, five year old yeah. like when parents can enjoy it and like parents get like they get really excited about that and head start we want parents to get involved in their child's education and yeah. i always tell them this is not their first graduation right be realistic. get excited about this but they're going to graduate preschool then they're going to graduate they do a middle school graduation then they're going to graduate high school and then they're going to get go to either college or a trade school maybe get a phd like celebrate this and it's fun mm -hmm. and i love it but i want the parents to know that like Celebrate your child and let them know that graduations are a great yeah. thing to accomplish. Mm -hmm. yeah. But don't yell at your baby. Right. Yeah. And it was always like we made the, you know how you get on um, a stall? Yeah. So we would make stalls for them Aww. and we made hats for them. And then um, we bought gowns. So they didn't get to have the gowns, but we kept the gowns and yeah, we, so we gave them every them. year. Yeah. But we would do that. And so it, the end of the year meant any free time you had, you were making the stalls, mm -hmm. you, planning were, the you were planning the graduation, and you were making, because the hats were made Holly. out of yeah. cardstock. I feel like each grade level kind of has like their own yeah. little end of the year things. Mm -hmm. So like for us, I do two things. I do a carnival at the end of the year. So like we have That's like fun. just little carnival games out on the lawn. And I, I one of the teachers there is a DJ. So he'll come and <laughs> like set up his little DJ booth. Turn and up. then we'll have like hot dogs and like popcorn and just, Having That's fun fine. together and playing games. Does he have a DJ name? Smoky. I don't think so. I don't know. Bear. I just know him as Coach V. That's all I know. Turn up. I, I don't DJ know. Coach v. Was a coach. DJ Coach V. <laughs> but uh, we're my graduates. We do that. Woo! <laughs> and then, like something I started a couple years ago, I was able to partner with the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame because it's located in Cleveland. You'd be doing stuff. Cool. And I, Big flex. I, I like it was it was a cool opportunity for me because like I got to make like a piece of curriculum to go on their, like, they have like an education site. Mm -hmm. It's so cool, so like you should check it out. But like I do like a research report that's where it. they, you know, have to choose an inductee from the Rock and Roll mm -hmm. Hall of Fame. Oh, that's fine. And they have to write basically a biography and a research paper about that person. Then they make like a giant poster board, they write a speech, and we do the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame Wax Museum. Ooh, so like they so set up fun. in the gym the entire that fifth grade, so cool. and all the different grade levels get to come, they have like a button in front of them, mm -hmm. like they push, they the kids the push the button and they have to give That's their little really speech. Cool. And the kids dress up in costume, it is like the cutest thing. That is really, That's really, and really cool. And this cute. year, this past year was the first year that I was, like able to have parents come in and see it oh, yeah, because of COVID. 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 So it was so nice to see parents like walk yeah. in and see their kids be a part of something. That's precious. Yeah, I have a segment that I want to call Honest Teacher Talk. Ooh, okay? I love this. Where we're going to have Let's... a real conversation about the, some of the bull crap that we have to deal with. Oh boy. Kindergarten teachers, excuse my language, that we're going to have to, <laughs> and preschool, that we have to deal with as teachers. So I saw um, on Devin Siebold, who yeah. is, y'all know, shout yeah. out. Crying shout in, out to Devin Siebold. Car podcast. Crying in my car podcast. Shout out to them. <laughs> Board teachers I comedy saw, tour. Yes. I saw on Devin Siebold's page, it said that they have to pay for their own printer Easy. and they have to buy their own printer and pay for their own ink and paper. What kind of hellhole do you work in? That is insane. Are you what? kidding me? Like, are there yeah, teachers that, that y'all have to pay to for? And I, I did a video and I asked, I said, like, you have to pay for your own printer, paper, and you have to, like, no. I don't understand. No. So, like, no. okay, 
schools need to be very transparent with teachers about the money they Seriously. have allocated to yeah. classroom supplies. Yeah. Because a lot of teachers, and this is a very like common thing, a lot of teachers don't understand the right. amount of funding that schools have to spend yes. on their classrooms. Right. So like if you want something, like at my school, like if I want something for my classroom, I can ask for it right. or like mm -hmm. put in a requisition. But I've also been at a school that literally was like, here you go, baby, here's 20 bucks for your entire class yep. budget for the year. And it was a class of 24 students. I don't understand the audacity like, though. Right. Like it physically makes me mad. Because yeah. imagine going to be an accountant and they're like, oh, hey, by the way, here's your office, buy your own printer though. Like right. yeah. if you, you go work whatever. at an office job or something, where they provide, why Why are teachers, y'all X-ray tech, putting, go buy your own X-ray machine. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. why are y'all already putting so much pressure on teachers already? Then you like, that's just a slap in the, that's disrespectful. I could, right. I could see if they were like paying us gobs of money and they were right. like, right. we're gonna give you guys a super duper raise and yeah. then you guys have to, you but have the to stipulation is you right. have to buy your supplies. It's the audacity like, of it for me. But you're not, we can't, can't even afford to live no, you can't have on, that, you on, the, no. on a teacher's salary unless you're like, you know, you're 25. And even I, then I, sometimes it's right, still hard. And I'm, right, not talking, right. I'm not talking about like- but that's they, ridiculous. They, I'm not talking about they gave them like their EFF card or their school card. No, no, or no. No, they you paid for pay this out of their money. pocket. Y'all ain't getting no copy. That's We're going back to crap. the Stone Ages. Y'all yeah. get notebook paper and yep. a pencil because I'm not paying You're getting for chisel this. You're going to chisel on a hammer, baby. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I, I, I know that may seem like, you no, know- No, that doesn't but, seem like anything. That's ridiculous. The reality of the matter is if there's a meme on social media that says a government-funded classroom, teacher-funded classroom. Y'all's kids, these classrooms look like prison sales if we did not spend some of oh, our yeah. own money to decorate yeah. them because mm -hmm. we care about your kids and want them and, i'm not buying my own printer and it's hard no. too because we can sit there and say and i and i know teachers who are like i'm not going to do i'm not going to spend my own money and i like applaud you because the classroom is not just the students it's mine as well I right. and i there's times that like an administrator would come in they'd be like why do you have that poster up because like they just want to know like what and it's nothing inappropriate it might just be a, a like a thing I got at Ikea that's like a bridge and going into a forest and I'll be like because I like it and I have to be in this room too that is right. a valid enough reason, reason because yeah. I because I like it like it and yeah. it, calms my, me, my classroom, it calms me down my classroom is an extension of my home I'm right. there right. the majority of my right. lifespan right. so I'm gonna make it feel right. homey and, right. and I want it to right. look a certain way yeah, and if you're not like that there's nothing wrong There's with nothing that. Right. No wrong shade. With that. Yeah. But it's honestly just the principle of the matter. Because in reality, you know how like they say when you if you argue with your significant other, it's not the argument that you have and is not really what you're arguing about. hundred percent. Yeah. So yes, I'm pissed off about the printers because how dare y'all? The audacity yeah. is running rampant. Right. It's just yeah. a microcosm but of it's the, the larger. Oh, yeah. Thank you. It's the principle of the matter. A small thing that shows that we have a bigger problem. Right. Like oh, yeah. why is that even an expectation? And then it's the audacity of you better have I, we're not going to pay for you printer paper or ink, but you better have it so that we can make sure your lesson planning yep. right and your curriculum better, your right. stuff better be printed out. Right. How are you having the audacity to have these expectations and you are not providing me the supplies right. that I, could, I need? I couldn't make my car payment last month because I had to buy a new printer for my classroom. Well, and I right. need the tools to do like, my job. Right. And, I, and yeah. I don't think that that's the thing too because it's an equitable thing too, right? Like teachers might be making a similar amount of money, which is not true. You're, the teacher next door to you might be making significantly more or less depending mm -hmm. on who they are. True. But printers aren't cheap at all because not. you can get a cheap one and it's going to break right. several times. it's like buying yeah. a cheap microwave you're gonna have to keep rebuying that yep. babes mm -hmm. and so you buy a printer that works you buy Gamble the ink you buy that roll. yeah and depending on how much they want you to print i get that and i know that some people are going to argue like everything's electronic so you don't really have to print anything off but that's it's like that's not lot. true and also no, that's like not. There, and kids need to write i was gonna say like, kids, let's be yeah. real they do have to write they, and they the do, reason these kids 100%. have horrible handwriting is because we do everything digitally yeah and it's not great for them like the blue light's not great they can't all get the the glasses that it's just how much money are you going to have wanna, him to spend? I, I need to know the justification behind it though because I was so bewildered. Like, Think about like a middle school or a high school classroom because you guys oh have gosh. multiple classes. I have Packets. hundreds of students. I have 119 like in my, kids. I have 18 kids and I'm right. printing off like test prep packets for them that are like 40 pages a piece. That's just for my class. Right. Like, if I had to do that for a hundred students, oh yeah. my god, yeah. my I school would be, doesn't do that. They I provide, wouldn't be yeah. eating that. Yeah. Night. Right. Like my school, my <laughs> yeah. school doesn't do that. But I just like I want to know if you teach at a school where you have to buy your own printer. I just knew people were gonna tell me. No, nah, like it's really this or you kind of you buy this, but like they pr No, people were saying no legit printer, paper, ink. I want to know what is the justification for this? Why? Because there how no. how do you no. have the audacity as a school district, even if you're a freaking poor school district? Why are your teachers buying right. their printer? And these are essential 
tools to do their job. job. The real answer is there's no justification. Right. There's it absolutely no justification right. no, for no. that. But speaking from one of the, I'm going to be a district person now. The justification <laughs> yeah. is we don't want to pay it. We don't yeah. want to. We don't want to pony up the dough. But the audacity to put yeah. it on your, t- I just don't. Because, just don't, because what I'm they're saying is, it, well, it's not mind. a necessity no. if we have the electronics, but it also is a way of demeaning and bringing down educators even more yeah. than what than where they're at. You know, if, if you can sit there and take away the autonomy of being able, like, just of of how you spend your money, right? Because like, here's the thing, and this is, I've read this so many times, and it's, and it, it for, I think for the most part, it's very true. If your kids don't have it in the classroom and they come in and you know their families can't afford it, you're going to buy gonna it. it. Yeah. And I know it. when I was in Head Start, it happened to me. The first year I taught there, a lot of my families, if you don't know what Head Start is, it's a program for people who are living above the poverty line. Above means they're right extraordinary there. poor. Yeah. Um, it doesn't mean that they're doing good. The babies wouldn't have coats. They wouldn't mm-hmm. have coats. And it wasn't mm-hmm. that the parents didn't, didn't, didn't want to get them coats is the parents didn't it. have coats either. Mm-hmm. They yeah. put them in two sweatshirts if they could. So the, my first year, I went to Walmart and bought coats for the kids who didn't have it. And I was a first year teacher. Bless you. I didn't get the pay bump because I did like I said, I didn't go to school for education. But there was no way for you to watch your kids. Well, walk even if in you went to school no, for education, babies. Yeah. Right. they're still not giving there's, us the pay bump. Right. Uh, so there's right. no way. And the only reason why I was able to do that every year after that's my aunt and uncle who own a business, they started donating hats, gloves, and coats to the kids. So every year for for Christmas, it was just the holidays or the winter, the kids each got if they celebrated Christmas, I wrapped it. If they didn't, they just got a box and, and there was a hat, gloves and a Co. And it was like, because they know I will not let a kid yeah. drive on the bus for an hour With in no Indiana coat. cold, which is like negative. How I mean, when we had the polar vortex, it was like negative fifty. Yeah, kids are legit gonna die. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm not gonna get that. sick. I'm not doing that. So it's like they know if if I don't have pencils, if I don't have colored pencils, if I don't have you know cardstock. Like I'm guilty of. I will spend, and especially now, I feel very blessed that yeah. I have like a the platform I have same, because same. I'm able to buy things for yes, my students yeah. that maybe I wouldn't if right. I didn't. Mm-hmm. That's what but, I'm trying to get. Yeah. But my thing is, like, I feel so angry at that situation because it should not be put on the guilt of a teacher yes. to support 20 different children. Right. Like it's just not it's not, it's not right. It's not ethical. No, at and, and, all. Like, don't, and, and I don't want everyone to sit there and say it's the responsibility of the parents. It is. But you have to understand that not everyone has the economic privilege you do. Absolutely. And some parents, when you're sending your child into it. into school with two hoodies, that is them trying their best. Yeah, they it's bought not those that, two hoodies. It's so not those that two, every parent doesn't care. hundred percent. Those two hoodies were less expensive than they a coat. Because exactly. people automatically sometimes associate poverty with their parents don't care. I'm like, That's hey, not, yo, that ain't got nothing to no, right. that ain't got nothing to do with the other are just uh-uh. struggling yeah, right. and having yeah. a hard parents time. Don't, don't blanket state that parents that live in poverty don't care about their kids because no. this That's this not false true. and ignorant. Can't get a break. No, false and especially ignorant. no. It is exactly. So I hate when I say that people are like, well, Bob, that really falls on the parent. It does. You're right. It does. And if the parent can't make that work, and then they're using, they're trying to get assistance or coat drives, and mm-hmm. those aren't available, especially during COVID. Oh my gosh, yeah. like right. people were needing so people much assistance. Were, yeah. I always felt like. Then we step up. Yeah, but I, I don't think that should be the case. Like, I, I'm i very fortunate to be in a district now that, like, right. appreciates that we need supplies yeah. to right. do our jobs. They literally paid for all the school supplies yeah. for all. Like, oh, my wow. district is small. So yeah. we only have, like, 550 kids in the entire district. Wow. Which is so wow. crazy. It wow. is. Wow. But this wow. year, they the paid in Florida. for every single student in the entire district to get all of the school supplies they needed off of our supply list that Good. we made. Every single are, thing. Are you the a, school? Who was it that we had? Was it you or someone that said that there's uh, all the kids' lunches and breakfast were all paid for? They had that through like a COVID grant. Okay. So like the past two years, kids did not have to pay for breakfast or lunch. Can we just talk about how wild that, 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 ran out. Out. that we've required Crazy. kids? To pay, to pay to eat for a for lunch a, a, that they're at their they're forced to yeah, go to. They're forced to be <laughs> at. Like, baby, it's no. Insane. If it was if that yeah. was any other job where you're forced to to like you can't leave, you know what I mean? Like, you know what I think we, is we, wild we, though. We do so, right get funding for lunch? Yep. Yeah, yeah, they do. But it's, like, it's, where it's is like that a, money going? It's a nutrition group it's, usually that yeah. does. Well, it. It's not always the school yeah. doing you, it. And if you think about it, I mean, I was on discounted lunch. I only paid one seventy five. But I think it's like three fifty full price for lunch, and three fifty does not do milk and pizza and fruit and all yeah. that. So I think it's just subsidized through like mm. the parents are contributing money into the fund of, and then the rest is grant, I See, guess. I'm not gonna lie. My old school I used to teach at had a lot of issues, but our cafeteria was amazing. The cafeteria staff, they would have the lunch for the kids, but then they would also have teacher lunch, like yes. a, like a oh, special cool. menu. Yeah. Yes. So if the kids were having like chicken sandwiches. Bougie. They had like 
cheddar bacon chicken, like grilled chicken for Ooh. us. Come on, Miss Betty, give me that but chicken like, bacon. I know. Oh my gosh. So at, at some schools, I I know like at my school, I have to pay for lunch if I want to yeah, buy lunch. Yeah, lunch but yeah. some schools, like I know that the like custodians or like other school staff won't have to pay, but teachers do. Yeah. For me, it was the opposite. The beginning of the year, I spent no money. The end of the year, I was forking out money because the grant had, you're, you've used the money, right? And so by that time, so stuff for graduation or projects at the end of the year, I did like a spaceship theme thing where I turned the entire class into outer space. Wow. And I want to go to that class. so okay. much money. Right. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Like, but like, Teacher of the year. We had fu funding was gone. So you I could go like, for your GEP program. Yeah, yeah. You go, if you get your GEP, you can buy that. Right. Like Billy Madison <laughs> up yeah. in there. I know, right. <laughs> <laughs> that's like I knew at the end of the year when I was like looking at my account or like if I spent more than a hundred dollars like in a work on my phone and I was like it's the end of the school year because I'm buying gift bags for the kids or I'm yeah. buying like yeah. you know paper for a project I'm like because it's gone I want to work at Pixar because I could go in they have like a cereal bar right you Ooh. can just get free cereal they have can a cafeteria right. mm. they have like flexible seat and station why can't I, schools be like Pixar and Google yeah. and stuff yeah. why can't we design our schools like those kind of places I, uh, Dang, I'll do it. I made <laughs> it's too, I, I it's made too much deals like, right. with uh, students before kids that get into trouble and just can't yeah. seem to stay out of trouble and are yeah. close to suspension and you know they'll be in a sport but like basketball is is always a good example where mm. they can't afford to buy basketball shoes and i've had oh, a yeah. number yeah. of times where i told kids like hey i'll buy you basketball shoes yep. but you got to promise me that you are not going to get kicked off the team you are not going to ki get kicked out of yeah. school yeah. if you do i'm getting the shoes back yeah and it's a good incentive for the kids right you know? and I, I want i want the kids to be able to do sports i'm a huge right. huge yeah. huge right, believer right, right. in so sports good. Yeah. Yeah. huge yeah, believer and like, advocating for them in that way oh yeah absolutely and i know that's like such a hot button issue of like you know the debate on whether or not teachers should spend money on their students like the the hard and fast answer is no we shouldn't have to shouldn't have to but, but like gonna. if there's a teacher yep. that's doing that like the reality is the whole problem is never going to change unless every single teacher in the entire united states decides one day i'm never going to spend another penny in my classroom right. of my own mm -hmm. money and which we know which is we not realistically you're going look to look at a kid with those doughy eyes who yeah. has holes in their shoes and right. you're going to go buy them that's hard right. to hold it's, the line. it's just yep. not going to happen and, and if you're a teacher that can't afford that that's okay. Right. You do not yeah. have to feel There's guilty. No no. Judgment There's no way. judgment. There's not There's no for judgment. Me because, but you know, when I had um, disposable income and I would spend it on my kids, I did find that I tended to not throw money at the problem, but we'll do big donut day. And that was more of an incentive where if a teacher can't do that, they find a better way of, in, of, have an incentive That's and doing more social and emotional building skills yeah. where I, the bribery. end of the year, baby, the I'm end tired, of the year yeah. is nothing we live on but bribes. bribery. Yes. Uh, you want to watch the, you want to watch Blippy again, baby? Let's put on that excavator because we're gonna Blippy it for the next three hours. Because like that's where I'm at at the end of the year. I so 100 oh, agree. With the oh end of the year gosh. is straight up bribery. Bribe. I need that on a shirt. Yeah. Speaking of bribery, yeah. brings me to my newest episode of Good or Garbage. I do love your little segment. I Thank you. I, I'm with it. I'm Wait, so why, why does garbage? bribery have something to do with it? Here's why I'll tell you. Okay, so <laughs> good or garbage? <laughs> so we're looking at school internet oh garbage 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 in my experience i have never experienced school internet that i'm like oh this is really fast ever it is always the no. most infuriating always down. frustrating <laughs> just maddening maybe crazy on the planet but did you say i here? cannot do my <laughs> did job did you say infuriating or infuriating this man be mispronouncing words all day every day he's a regular <laughs> The the only words coming I'm out in rows. Wrong. What is it? What, how do you infuriating? Actually? Infuriating. Infuriating. Like fury. Fury. Okay, and now add on a prefix and 80. a suffix. Infuriating. Not you tell me like teacher OEM. Infuriating. I'm infuriating. What did I say? Infuriating. Infuriating. You said infuriating. In Just say it, make you mad. I'm scared too, baby. Like it pisses me off. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Dang it. It is garbage. What do you think, Lauren? He's like, I'm How scared. Can, do you have like split personalities or something? Yeah. I'm Ooh, coming out like, pop, back, from back, from back, from back, from back. It's year. called being That's a teacher. You know. I'm with it. That's what you got to do. Same. You're a little freak, unhinged at the end of the year. Freak out on Same. a kid and then, okay, class. Yeah. <laughs> My school, for the most part, has okay internet, and we have a really good tech guy. But Shout I have experience. Yes, our tech, tech guy too. saves our lives ninety percent of the time. Shout out. 
but I have experienced garbage school internet. So I'm going to say garbage because the majority of the time is garbage. Garbage. I think it's garbage. I've had <laughs> way, way too many instances. Wait, can I hear, can I hear yeah, that one more time again? Garbage. <laughs> I, feel like you, I feel like you added R on that. You, you're you're a, a voice actor, right? School internet's just a bunch of garbage. I love it. <laughs> that was impressive. Well, that was, that was every got angry so man at the people. school oh meeting. I love <laughs> it. So many people. Same. There's a diagnosis for that, I think. Talk to tall camera, please. Thanks. It's, I've had too many instances where like, I'm trying to submit attendance mm -hmm. and then the, you hear over the intercom, just so you know, internet's down, yep. the Ed Connect will not they be They come yelling at you because you ain't submit time. attendance. Fix the dig on Wi-Fi. What are you yelling at me for? We had uh, child Crazy. observation records were our assessments. So you did one at the beginning of the year, middle year, end of year. And that's how you showed the child's growth. That's how you got grants, all that stuff. You had like 50 some sections per child oh, no. three times a year. And if you were working on a section one day and the Wi-Fi went off, it unsaved everything uh -uh. that you did. The so, anxiety. And what happened is I I switched schools. I would never schools. do it at school. I would do it at no, home. My I first know. school was in the middle of the city, which was fine. The other one was at the outskirts of town. So mm. if I was doing that, I would Wi -Fi turn trash. on my my phone to do the hotspot thing. Yeah. And I couldn't do that in, in the in the oh, countryside. Gosh. And it would if it happened, it was stick. gone. But our RT guy, smoke house so if maybe i was the one i would have once we got our wi-fi fixed i was like i he, i didn't see him as much so i'm like maybe we release rats and to eat the wires so that he comes back hottie oh. with a body hottie with the, i don't know but he came in one time and our wi-fi connector was at the thing at the top and he just reached up to do it he was like six eight i was like dang i was like okay it you play basketball um, he did IT. He did not play basketball. We're trash for that because every time I'm like, oh, they must ball. Like somebody they that tall. would say no to sports. Yeah. Can't shoot a beach ball in the ocean, but I'm like, oh, they tall. <laughs> no, you can ball. Nope. No. Can't do it. No. What do you think I, about school internet, Bree? I already told you it was garbage. And don't connect to this, this school thing. You can see your text messages that you're sending about the admit. Sh oh, shut up. Shut up. No, they can't. Yes, they can. Invasion of privacy dishonor. If, you, if you're going to sit there and talk about admin or I don't want to go with the stupid PD, it, don't connect to the Wi-Fi. Yeah. I can't see that in my messages. If it's on the, it's on the school browser. The school, yeah. school, like school Wi-Fi. Wi they can see your text messages? I, no, if it's on I the... I don't know what tech... I don't... I've never know. heard the text message because thing, but like if you're on the Wi-Fi, they can email? see your browser. No, yeah, email, yeah, they can go I that. would never incriminate myself through email. Oh, amateurs no. I mean, do that. Listen. <laughs> what a freaking amateur. Amateur, yeah. amateur school Wi-Fi Googling, why is my administrator so stupid? Yeah, that's a dumb that's, person that does gonna, that. But being in the office, <laughs> And then they'll come down, down and they'll, I was just testing. I just wanted no, to say. I was just like, I was nervous that you weren't listening. The keys jingling, the walkie-talkies going. I didn't hear them, so I want to make sure you were here. Somebody at my old school sent an email to the whole school on accident gossiping <gasps> about somebody she was like oh, oh no i was like oh girl go ahead and quit baby that's how you know it's the end of the year you check I think she you meant check. to send it like just to her teacher best so you could tell because you could tell by the language uh-huh that's where my heart that. falls no. in my butt and i'm Man. like that's where i move but she had to yeah. leave had to send that i'll take my leave we've all done that Ooh, and if you're saying you haven't you, you I, are I, we but that's why not to oh not email i'm saying just like in, in, in general. general like oh, if, you're, if you want to send it out of the group chat or something oh, like that yeah and the not only thing you can do in that case is you got to come clean about yeah. it you have to you got to no apologize you got to validate no, the other person you gotta, but you got to block their numbers and find a whole new friend group <laughs> you got to move to a different drastic measures get a new name and clear your witness protection i straight up did that in college somebody we were playing basketball where he was trash i was pissed <laughs> off i was like this dude can't shoot a beach ball in the ocean he hit the he hit one shot thinks he's all that bro sent that text message to that dude i was like oh <gasps> my bad because oh, no. like you be, that's the universe message which because you're talking about somebody you accidentally brought him up in your mind no and, and you your go phone i'm just yeah. kidding yeah. Yeah. <laughs> or you could do it like we used to do this on msn messenger when i was in middle school like you would ask somebody out and they'd say no and you'd be like oh that was my friend who typed it ha 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 you did msn i deflect what that's i would have know. said if i really liked you idiot sorry that was my friend all the oh, hot no. kids had msn i feel like but all of like the trolls like me with yeah, my bucked at teeth. Wait, what's AI, MSN? AI, oh, what what is that? Mess that? MSN Messenger? Was, AI, was that? AIM but for MSN. Yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It was awesome. But AIM is AOL. All, all like the AIM. pretty attractive people at, in high school and middle school had, what well, was middle school, had MSN, but like That's I was That's where all the girls AIM. were rejecting me. Be asking them out. 
So like that. Yeah. <laughs> there was. I mean, they, did my buddy like, sent that. Middle school, middle school, like that tall, you, lanky like, kid asked me the out. The inkling to start asking people out. You just started asking everybody. Oh yeah. That yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm, tired tired of, I'm tired of. I'm tired of this. Seven everywhere. boyfriends in I'm one sick, month. I'm sick of it. I, I'm tired. <laughs> of you have a few weeks of school left. You're gonna break up over the summer, baby. You don't want that heartbreak. I want you to be my summer boyfriend. Here's my barrette necklace. Keep it around your. A barrette necklace. Remember the scrunchies. Remember when they were giving the boys their scrunchies? Yes. I'm like, what well, the kids, you Never know you have those kids wrist. at school that you treat them like they're your kids. I said, come here. I better not see not a nan boy. I better not see not a nan boy mm -hmm. have your scrunchie or it's going to be something. I don't know what it's going to be, but it's going to be something. Jeez. My kids need Remember? me to know their drama. Like, they, oh, I, yeah. I was, okay, so like I was telling you guys about that Dean job that I have. Mm -hmm. And I was doing lunch duty the other day. And the sixth graders who I had last year mm -hmm. were up in lunch. And I'm standing around them talking. And they were like... Mrs. Woolley, so and so is dating so and so, and I was like, "Why do I need to know that?" And they were like, "You need to know. In like, you have grade. to know." I eat, I eat it. Up. Oh, oh, I love no, the drama. No, no. I, I'm, I'm not saying I don't like that. You me. So what? <laughs> Y'all broke up. What happened? Didn't leave no yeah, crumbs. No. I don't know the deep. I'm not saying I don't want to hear it. I'm just saying, like, why do I need to yeah, know? Well, like, so in this school, we don't gossip, get tabloid. Tell me. The journalist. The journalist. The tabloid writer. Oh, I'm gonna add that to the list. It's your job to anonymously submit notes to the teacher so with all the tea for the it's week. your job to get My the thing scoop. was whenever, because again, preschool, right? But we ate lunch with the sixth graders. Mm -hmm. Why would they do that? I don't know. But it was actually cute. The sixth graders like felt like they were. Oh. But we would hear the sixth, because we did pre-K through six. And I always told the sixth graders, anyone that came up to me, because then my babies would go on and grab, and you know, be in fourth, fifth grade. I would say, uh-uh, you cannot date until you graduate high school or college. And like, that was the, the whole thing. And so like, every time my parent was like, does Johnny have a crush on him? I'm like, no, he doesn't. Because no one can have crush on anyone until they Weird. graduate high school. Okay, because uh -huh. the drama, like, man. The yeah, drama I don't need, I don't need a four-year-old yeah. four crime because, you know, they traded a sticker with someone else. No. Listen, do you know the drama that ensues with like breakups in a school with 500 kids? District wide, because you can know, know everyone's everybody. name. Everyone knows everyone's Teachers business. Teachers are in the business. On and that. then, yeah. but then on top of that, like there's only 36 kids in one grade. Yeah, you don't like your friend, you're you're screwed, baby. Yeah, like <laughs> you're gonna be with each other for the next eight kids years. So it would make me crazy. It you would make me crazy. I don't also, see I graduated with 400 there. people. Yeah, I did too. I cut. And that 30? was, I felt like I knew a lot of them. So. I didn't graduate. Yeah. Well, we, oh, we know. Yeah, he's still working towards his GB. Yeah. I'm sick of you. I'm just kidding. Kidding. <laughs> He's like, I, I wish I graduated. All right. So to take us home for things that our students do that we just don't Please. get, especially towards the end of the year. Um, so I had some um, submissions from Instagram. If you saw my story, these are all Instagram submissions. So some things our students do that we just don't get. Ask me what we're doing after lunch, even though it's the same schedule every, <laughs> every damn day. Every day. <laughs> It's up on the board. She meant that. I literally post my <laughs> she was schedule. Hot. She was mad. Around the room. Yep. And they if they go, Miss Wooly, what time is it? I just point. Yep. And if they go, Miss Wooly, what are we doing next? I po I'm like, I don't know why you're asking me. It's May. Makes my blood. It's May. Yeah, we have a picture schedule. Up the bell schedule. I've got a big 24 by 36 inch bell Ooh, schedule. That is Still commitment. What time we get out of here? <laughs> uh, right there, baby. <laughs> Hey. It says there. You've been here since August the 4th. If you don't know the schedule, go home. You've been in school since you were six years right. old. Right. You had the same schedule. Yeah, I promise it's not that different. We have a picture schedule. So because my, my kids can't read, right. they can look at there and it's pictures of them. The first day of school, we take pictures of them doing that task. So the next day it's up there. You're in the picture of lining up. <laughs> I'm confused while you're confused, babes. Like, <laughs> I'm not understanding. I love it. Oh my gosh. Okay. Eat the clay oh. that they were told not to touch because it smelled like marshmallows. Oh. Yeah. No, that, I, I stop understand that. Stuff, no, I understand it's it. Stop sitting stuff, man. It's the smells. Stop sitting stuff. All the yeah. smells. Remember, Make I them smell in, delicious. I was yeah. in preschool and they did like an assignment. It was like a colors. Yeah. And they had us like blow bubbles into different color paints. Ooh. Every and time. I just, Sucked the orange paint right up. Oh my god! And that's, that's why, why my your beard, beard is, is so orange. orange. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Every time we did a bubble one where you blow bubbles into yep. the thing, and the kids are. Like, I'm like, are these? That is paint. Can these hurt you? Like, thank God it was like non-toxic non soap. But I was like, no, I can't be doing. That's Reckless. why you don't eat paint chips. Reckless. Yep, it's why I do. Yeah, it's like, please, no. Did you eat yeah. paint chips? I love that we just I, got that. I used same to eat paint chips as a child. I lived in <laughs> power lines as a child. I can't stand that you. That makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> that checks out. She 
genuinely. Yeah. 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 South Dakota. Dakota. Like Shook me a lot as a baby. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> But guys, thank you so much for tuning in to this week's episode of Teachers Off-Duty Podcast. It's the end of the school year. We're losing it. The kids are losing it. Mm. We're almost there. We got We'll see you next week. Bye, guys. Bye, best friends. Trust me, your boss will never find out that you just watched that entire episode while you're at work. But what you should do is check out episodes over here. Make sure you subscribe and look at us on Apple Podcasts. Check us out on Spotify. Give us five stars. We'd really appreciate it.